Hi everyone, uh, this is Alexander from the Indigo Light YouTube channel and blog. I want to welcome you to a new video. Uh, we're now in our holiday season, so I want to wish everyone happy holidays and I send you all my love. And I hope you can take some time off your usual activities and have some time for reflection, introspection and, and you time, basically, because we all need that, obviously. Um, I'll be covering an energetic update today of uh, the last week or so and heading into the beginning of the month of January, some information I've gotten regarding how to handle this this uh, this period. Uh, I'll also make an announcement regarding an upcoming video that I find um, is going to be pertinent to a lot of people and helpful or sometimes, you know, controversial, but regardless, again, as I said before, I feel like it needs to be done and therefore I'm sharing it and some announcements regarding the channel. Um, the word of the day for this video is work. Uh, something not all of us are keen on doing, but we need to do it anyways, especially inner work. The message I've gotten um, is regarding the 21st and the 22nd of the month and heading into January. The place we find ourselves today in is, I mentioned the words completion, so I'm not going to do that again. We are basically clearing up whatever is lingering and we're going into creation phase. Creation phase is for the month of January and the few days before that. We've spent the last few years, obviously, clearing up all our inner workings, whatever doesn't serve, whatever lingers, whatever is uh, not pertinent to the place we're in today. The, the remainders of our anger, of our sadness, of our fears, all these elements. Um, whatever lingers today is really, you know, necessary to clean it up, to let it go, to look, to mostly shift perspective regarding our lives and to deal with whatever. It's not really, you know, a ton of specific things that we need to do, but to be present in the moment, to be thankful, to be appreciative, to treat others with respect and with love the way we would want to be treated, and of course to be very uh, transparent and honest with ourselves regarding the, the things that we're not addressing and that need to be addressed. When I say work, I mean exactly that. Um, so it's basically two phases, the clearing up, clearing up, sorry, whatever lingers, and the gearing towards creation. Creation is work in itself. Okay, for a lot of people in sessions and so on, there's, ob there's the obvious transition from our old way of creating abundance to the new way of creating abundance by connecting to purpose. That's work. Setting up a framework to do so, trying things out, you know, the trial and error basis to see what works and, and, and doing in the fact. So my understanding is that the 22nd is a big day of turning, the 21st as well, but my the emphasis, the reason why I'm doing a guided meditation on the 22nd is that it's been asked of me, I'm going along with it. Um, what I understand is that when we have energetic portals, dates that are pertinent and important, it's not so much a sit and wait for them to happen. That's not the point. They are portals of energy that enable a new energy to come forth and to envelop our lives and change and reform. Okay, But that means that beforehand we have to sit and clearing up whatever is necessary and could block this said energy. And make our lives harder if we didn't get to it. Okay, this this is what the next few days. Today is the seventeenth, the seventeenth until the twenty second. You have five days or so in order to gear yourself, look at what needs to be changed, and um, be present and um, accept in acceptance of this new energy, and let it settle. Okay, not to sit and wonder, you know, what will happen and will not happen, and make it a bigger deal than it is. All of these things again. Our secondary features of our ascension, there's always going to be another date, there's always going to be another event. None of it is the beginning, none of it is the end. When it's over, you'll know, when you're ready to flourish. My understanding that has been conveyed again and again through videos and my guidance to me is um, the importance of the month of January 2019 uh, as a creation month. Okay, I do see it from my own journey in terms of kind of the, the pieces of the puzzles lining up, but that's only my journey and even though we're all on the same journey, we all have our different steps, you know, of our our common collective awakening. Okay, um, but there is a very strong element there. On a personal note, and I try to speak from experience because that's what I have to speak from. Um, I do see really the facing of the biggest difficulties that I've had in my 35 years, the biggest wounds going back to the beginning. Some real powerful stuff, especially in the last two three days. Uh, a lot of fatigue. And difficulty sleeping at night okay mostly from nervous energies that kind of go through the body and of course trying to 
to be present, to be calm, to drink a lot of water, to meditate, not for the sake of meditation, just to calm my body down, that could be, you know, lower your cortisol level, oxygenate, and so on. Um, this is the, the, the period that we're in. So it's mostly to be aware, to be present, not to ju judge yourself at all, and to do the work that is necessary, both for getting yourself out of a predicament that doesn't work anymore and creating something new, you need to do the work. There are always going to be steps to be done, okay? If you're building a new uh, platform to be able to help others, you need to, you know, perhaps create a website, you need to prepare, I don't know, create business cards or any of those kind of, you know, physical uh, steps that we need to take that are sometimes mundane, but they need to be taken anyways. Um, that's just a very small example from what I'm seeing lately. One thing I will mention is that the universe works on a reciprocity basis. So there is the need to take physical steps in order for the universe to come and, and you know, reciprocate. If we sit in stagnation and we wait for things to happen, nothing happens. The universe does not see inertia, therefore it does not feel the need to reciprocate by inertia. This is not manifestation in the sense that I'm visualizing and things happen. It's the sense that I'm creating, okay? So if I want to go and do something, I make, I personally, on, on, in my, in my own life, I have lists of accountability. I have my daily tasks, my weekly tasks, and my monthly tasks for spiritual work, for inner work, and for, you know, accountability towards indigo light and whatever I'm trying to do. And I, I try to be as accountable and, and, and uh, as dedicated to fulfilling these tasks as I possibly can. And it goes on over my life as a person. I'm not the most organized person, therefore I do feel the need for lists and accountability um, because it makes it easier for me to know what I have to do on any given day. But I feel like if we want to get out of a predicament and we say, what shall I do? It's nice to take a piece of paper, a pad, and start writing down ideas, making you know a diagram of how we get ourselves out of our predicament and how we start to create. Okay. And of course, on a pragmatic basis, this is everything I'm, I'm always trying to convey. Uh, it's not what I've gotten emails over called the fluff of the, you know, of... Uh, this, uh, what do we call it, this domain, and, and all the things that are happening outward and that may or may not be reflective of you about the inner journey and the physical steps that we need to take in order to make things happen, okay, which are 99% of the work, okay. If I do 100 sessions on myself and then I sit and I wait for miracles to happen, nothing's going to happen. I am not embodying my role as a creator on this planet, okay. That's what I wanted to touch on. So, <clears throat> introspection, awareness of self, seeing how things make us feel if we get in situations. What I'm saying is that the things that linger, they are coming to the surface, whether you like it or not. So try to spot them in your surroundings. Try to spot them within yourselves. Try to spot the, the reaction of your heart chakra, the reaction of your throat chakra, the reaction of your third eye to situations. Are you getting defensive? Are you getting upset, angry, anything like that? Even if it's a, a small, an iota of an emotion. Talk to this emotion. Get you know to work clearing this stuff out. If it's kind of waking you up, it's because it doesn't want to be there, as I've said before, um, and clear it out, and then gear yourself towards creation. If you don't know what you want to create, that's creation in itself. It's work as well, okay? I've, uh, we've all done the pros and cons list. We've all done, you know, there are meditations that I've tried to do also with clients where you put different opportunities in front of you, and when you meditate, you try to feel from your heart which one lights up, which one stands out more, okay? But again, it starts from your own journey. So there is work to be done. And I, I believe that the month of January 2019 um, can be, if you want it to be, of course, and if you're willing to do the work and, and not be complacent and really be dedicated and be accountable to yourself, to your tasks, to your journey, to your purpose, and to the people that will need you and do need you, it can be the beginning of a new phase in your life. And I mean that in its entirety. Okay. That's what I want to touch on. Um, the regarding, I'll, I'm going to release a video in the next couple of days. I, I think it's a video I'm going to be presumptuous with myself and say that it's the most important video I believe I'm going to release. Um, I'll be talking about motivation. I'll be talking about the inner workings, what I believe we need to be aware of when we look at the inner workings of what makes us tick. Okay. The reason why I'm saying this is this. Um, if we talk about January as a new portal into a, uh, sorry, a gateway into a new paradigm where we start to create and we're not really allowed to take our own baggage because it, we don't need it, you know, it doesn't serve. 
when you move to a new house, you get rid of a lot of stuff and you try to, you know, um, later on get new stuff that really resonates with you more. Okay, it's the same kind of thing. It's uh, your inner clearing of self. Your inner spring cleaning before the spring is actually here. The winter cleaning. Um, I think that it's really important today, and this is why I mentioned in my last video, I asked um, whoever was watching and, 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 you know, cared enough and could be compassionate to help people out that don't necessarily have shelter or food during the season, seeing this as, of course, it's cold, it's the holiday season and so on. Um, I will be touching during the next video on motivation. And the importance, um, because I've been doing this for over a decade, because I started in, at a time where there wasn't so much YouTube and the internet wasn't what it is today, there wasn't social media, you know, not, not, not to that, not in this magnitude. And um, I found spirituality to be more of an inner journey. There was less information out there. And today I find that there's a lot of stuff out there. But if you are going on this journey and you want to help others, or if you are a person that is actively now helping others, we are here to help empower other people and empower ourselves. We're not here to be, um, how do you call this? Um, we're not here to promote ourselves as individuals. We're not here to be self-serving. And we really need to look at, as individuals at our motivations in whatever we're doing and how we're doing it as human beings in general. Forget the spirituality for a second. Um, and also to understand that spirituality is the inner, in, innate state of being on this planet. It's not a hobby. It's not a pastime. It's not something that we need to work really hard at. It's just trying to be present today, to be a better person, to be a person that is um, more adept and more conducive at uh, channeling positivity and helping other people in your daily life when the cameras are off and nobody's watching. Okay, this is what I really want to touch on. And you don't need to dress a certain way or to talk a certain way or to use certain words or labels or any of these kinds of things. It's something I'm very passionate about. And having started in a, not an era, but in a, in a I guess, decade or half a decade before all of the internet and the dimension is taken today, um, I was able, and I'm thankful for this, to be more cut off. And I just had, you know, a couple of physical books, a teacher, clients, and learning through them. I think there's a lot of information online today. We really need to strive to find what resonates with us. And we really need to work on being the change that we want to see in the world. Okay. And this is um, a cliche sentence, obviously, but it's, it's so pertinent to today. And I think that there is a certain uh, element of trying to be spiritual in terms of appearance, in terms of behavior. But if you were to catch the person when nobody's watching, they would behave a different way, as opposed to just being citizens of planet Earth, not judging ourselves, not trying to be perfect in the terms of the spirituality, because there is no such thing, and just existing. And if you see somebody who's trying to cross the, the roads, Go and help them. If you see somebody whose car is, you know, these kinds of basic things of, of human decency and kindness and compassion, smile, uh, be polite, hold the door for someone who can't, you know, help an elderly person out. I was, uh, um, you know, taking public transportation a few times abroad and saw the reserve seat for handicapped and elderly people and saw people just plonk there and somebody else standing. And I just, I find it irks me as a person and not as a spiritual person or not as a person who channels or has, a, you know, any of these things. As a human being on planet Earth, we must learn to be considerate towards each other as we would like others to be considerate towards us. And if we cannot do this, and if we're able to be honest with ourselves about this, but we do the 26 meditations and this and that and all these outward things, we're not really being on point. Because it starts from here. It doesn't matter what you wear. It doesn't matter this. It doesn't matter anything. It matters how you treat others, how considerate you are, and how you think about how your behavior at any given time affects other people. Okay. For me, this is like the alpha and the omega of any kind of um, considerate, loving, compassionate outlook on the planet. And I won't use the word spiritual. I use the word human. Because my, my, in my idea... In, in the, what do you say, utopic way of being that we will one day reach and we need to start today, a human being embodies all these things. There's no good person or bad person. There's a human being. Okay. And I believe strongly, and I've said this lately, it's kind of 
it's a silly thing to say, but it's dawned on me that happy people are never going to be uh, difficult people, mean people, judgmental people. So we need to work on being happier people with ourselves so that we can be kinder to everybody else. And if you see somebody that needs a lending a, a hand, or if you want to help somebody, if you're going out and starting sessions, try to help people be happy with themselves and love themselves. Don't make yourself the guru. Don't make yourself the indispensable element because you are not. That is just your ego. We're all learning. Try to empower the other person. Set them free. Go out, help another, and do the same. But on your daily and your daily life, sorry, if you're walking around with your kids down the street, you see somebody in need, you're accountable. If you don't want to help, that's fine. But try to think about what that means about you and your inner motivations. If you see that and you pretend you ignore it, but then try to, you know, act in a spiritual manner, in something that you deem spiritual, which it may or may not be spiritual. Okay. All I'm trying to say through all of this video and all the videos I do is that I believe humans are enough and we are enough and we are amazing beings and we need to recognize that and not try to be anything but just be. And it starts really from our behavior on the daily, how we treat ourselves, our bodies, and how we treat other people. It's really that simple. Okay. And no amount of videos or Indigo Light videos or other videos or Arcturian channeling messages or whatever is outwardly is ever going to be able to trump that or to make up for that if you're not doing the basics. And this is something that I feel I need to say. You may resonate, you may not. I know it's not in necessarily an easy thing to hear and it's not what's necessarily out there, but I feel like it begins from there. And if we can't do that, then we need to go back to the drawing board. Um, that's what I wanted to convey today. In regard to the channel, I'll be releasing this video tomorrow, the day after, we will see. Um, there is, of course, the guided meditation to connect with your guidance on the 22nd of the month at 4 p.m. EST. It's going to be a group meditation, going through the heart chakra, connecting with your guidance. It's going to be an interesting experience, and I'm sure that it will be an enjoyable experience as well for people attending. And, uh, of course, I am, I've been asked by my guidance to offer sessions. I do offer sessions always. Can go to the website indigolightlove.com and the personal sessions tab and see what's available. Um, everything is there regardless. Videos, this, that. We have lessons as well. Lessons of accountability, medicine, and so on. Um, I'm offering sessions, the uh, kind of introductory discussion session for 40 minutes at 50%. Uh, the price that it usually costs. Okay. I just wanted to reach out. I know that we all come from different... Uh, socioeconomical backgrounds, I guess, I'm going to say, but we're all human beings and we all need a lending hand and to be able to, you know, get some help. So I'm happy connecting with people like that and not making, um, I guess, financial issues an issue because they're not, they don't need to be. And I've been doing this for a week or so, a bit more, and it's been very fruitful and very thankful, you know, for people being able to reach out. I'm always trying to help. I'm always trying to connect and to be able to be, you know, um, a lending hand. So to speak, I just want to. I would like in an idyllic world for people to be happy because then that would be a perfect world. And whatever we can do to try to get each other there, then let's do it. Okay, that's what I wanted to share. Uh, I send you my love. You can reach out by email at indigolight2222 at gmail.com. Touch base regarding the video. If you have comments and everything, of course, is going to be in the description on the Indigo Light channel. If you're on higher self, I invite you to go to the Indigo Light channel and Subscribe and uh, click on the subscribe button. Click on the bell next to it, the notification, so you get them as well. And there's a community tab also on the YouTube where you can get updates, announcements, and all these things. Okay. I send you my love. I wish you all... There'll be another video before Christmas, so this is not the last one. I wish you all, uh, I, I don't know, a great day, afternoon, evening, morning, wherever you are. I send you my love, and that's it. Thank you.